Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Party people, party people. What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk TV. Real Talk. I'm in the building, your boy. Look, man. Y'all y'all saw the yesterday's episode. Look, man. I don't I don't know what Xbox is doing right now, but Xbox Xbox is tripping, dog. <laughs> Xbox is tripping. Xbox is tripping, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into all of that and mo. But and just hit that like button for your boy. Go ahead and share the video if you like it. Go ahead and subscribe if you really like it. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's Woo! Lord Jesus. Xbox, 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 Xbox. What? What are you? Look, man. Microsoft slashes nineteen hundred jobs across Xbox and Activision Blizzard. What? What? Why? It it could it couldn't be because y'all haven't been focusing on what you need to be focusing on, huh? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it couldn't it could it couldn't be because of all of this you know what i'm saying initiatives and die y'all got going on up in x we're gonna, we're gonna get into all of that we're gonna get into all of that all of that let's get into this article we're not even one month into 2024 and it's already been another brutal year for workers in the video game industry because triple a titles and triple a studios has been getting the business Double A Studios have been doing work. Have been doing work this year. And I love it. And I love it, love it, love it. Microsoft is the latest company to announce a major round of layoffs in its gaming division as it's cutting around 1,900 workers from its Xbox, Activision, Blizzard, and ZeniMax, a.k.a. Bethesda teams. That brings a total number of video game layoffs this year to around 6,000 already. There were around 9,000 layoffs in the industry in all of 2023, according to some estimates. As we move forward in 2024, the leadership of Microsoft Gaming and Activision Blizzard is committed to aligning to, on a strategy and an execution plan with a sustainable cost structure that will support the whole of our growing business. Together, we set priorities, identify areas of overlap, and ensure that we are all aligned to the, on the best opportunities for growth. Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer told employees in a memo obtained by The Verge. As a, as a part of this process, we have made painful decisions to reduce the size of our gaming workforce. And then he goes on to say, the majority of cuts are said to be within Activision Blizzard three months after Microsoft finally closed its deal. The people who are directly impacted by these reductions have all played an, impart, an important part in the success of Activision Blizzard, ZeniMax, and the Xbox teams. And they should be proud of everything they've accomplished here. We are grateful for all the creativity, passion, and dedication that we have brought our, to our games, our players, and our colleagues. We will provide our full support to those who are impacted during the transition, including severance benefits informed by local employment laws. He added, content, he will continue to, we, they will continue to invest in areas that will grow our business and support our strategy of bringing more games to more players around the world. Although this is a different, difficult moment for our team, I am, I, I'm as confident as ever in your ability to create and nurture the game stories and worlds that brings players together. <sighs> See, here's the thing. I don't believe you, Phil Spencer. You wanna know why I don't believe you? Because your 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 global marketing head is this dumbass right here. And she says, "Raise your hand if you're a white man and you buy video. If you're not a white man and you buy video games." No hate to white dudes. It's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist. What the fuck are you talking about? Who the fuck are you talking about? You don't see me right here? Like, what? what hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fight. Fight to prove that we exist. Fight. 
Phil, oh, first off, before I even get to that part, Phil Spencer, she's talking about you, dog. You, how? I don't, Phil Spencer, dog, I didn't know you was a cuck like this, bro. What? Nick, bruh. What is up with these white dudes in power that just allow these women like this just to walk all over them and just talk crap and just and just talk shit about them like this? I don't understand. I I I, I don't I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. How is she your marketing head of Xbox, Phil Spencer? And this is how she thinks. You didn't do no vetting before you hired her. What are you, what are you, what what are you doing? What what is this? What what the, who the fuck who the fuck is this? And then her second part, let's get to that fighting the industry that minorities have had to fight to prove they exist. So you ain't never played a video game, is what you're telling me, lady. That's 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 what you, that's what you're telling me. That you've never played a video game. Because I, on the other hand, no. So so you mean tell me you 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 don't know about titles like Desperados or 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 Halo. You know what I'm saying? Sergeant Major Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and uh, uh what about San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto? Ooh, all my gamers out there, we know. We know. Let me let me look at my on my palm pilot, Mortal Kombat. Like you like come on now. You you who who what else? Prototype 2. Well, what you got? What you got? What you got? The suffering, Left 4 Dead one and two. Like, what are you talking about? Minorities need a, 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 a to, to prove the fight, to prove they exist. What? What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you, what do you mean? Are you insane? I am tired of these people who has who have never played a video game giving their opinions on video games like you know what you're talking about. Phil Spencer, do, do better, dog. Who 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 is this? Who 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 is this crazy lady? You know what I'm saying? Why is she on what? See, but you said you're focusing on on the, on the games, right? You're focusing on bringing the games. You're doing the best. This ain't doing your best with someone like this. You know what I'm saying? Then even Elon Musk done, done dropped on, done jumped in on it. He says, it should not be acceptable for any company in the gaming industry to be racist and sexist against white guys. Yeah, that's 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 called discrimination. Phil Spencer, what are you doing? What are you what are you doing? She's talk she's talking about you, dog. And let me let me let me look, cause I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure her, she got she got her account, she, her account's locked. Let me look, let me look, let me look right quick. How you it is right here. Why you got your account locked? Why she lock your account? <laughs> it couldn't be because you was getting your ass roasted like you rightfully should, but like Xbox, do better, because if this is who you got running your global marketing, y'all, yeah, you you. you this ain't what we gamers want to see, dog. This ain't what we want to see, man. Y'all know what we want to see. You you better get back to your to your to your Xbox 360 roots, dog. Xbox original roots, dog. Cause this 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 ain't it. This ain't it. It's your boy, and I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.